So this one is against Grand Valley. Um, great defense, a very good defensive line, and this is a hard-fought game, and we're running it to the open side. Now here, this is where we have a read, okay? So we're in 12 personnel, um, two by two with a sniffer and a grounded, and we're reading this defensive end. So our guys are taking, you know, and you, the fun thing about zone, man, and what I love is that you can do so much with it. You, and it's just because you're keeping it simple for the offensive line. And so here, you know, we're in 12 personnel running this down in the goal line or short yardage here and reading the defensive end. Now on our read, our quarterback is actually wrong here. Like that dude squeezes down and is, putting his hands on the running back and he should be pulling it and running. But because we get so much movement with number 79 and 76 or left guard and left tackle, look at how much movement that guy starts about a yard inside the hash. He comes down, hits the hip. We're square with number 79. Who's then shot, putting him across the hash and our tackle who knocks him over is now gliding up to the running or the linebacker and a running back stays on that lane and it turns into a, a bend. Um, but because we get so much movement up front that the defensive lineman cannot uh, keep with that. He cannot stay, you know, he's getting moved so much that it's a tough, it's a tough one to be read and then make a play when there's that much space you got to cover. You look at the other spots in this play, with our center, center gets to the fit. He is square. He is driving his guy vertical. And the run side of this, we're pretty good because we've got three for three. You know, the double team, he kind of just holds on to this one, but it should be sliding off here. But we're pretty good, you know, numbers wise and have great aiming points. And if our running back's a little bit slower to get through there, we're good. But he, you know, gets vertical. Uh, one of the things that we like to do is off the ball is create depth, um, create depth off the ball with our steps. So that way we we're further back so that way we can get to these guys. And some of the time it turns out bad for us. So here it was an unbelievable atmosphere. If you look at our left guard, and this is, this is what I'm talking about, uh, making stuff happen and making sure that you got leaders on your team that can get stuff happen. We're in the middle of the game. We've never practiced a silent count. Um, and it was so loud in Allendale with in the student sections right here that you could not hear. So we, our guys, you know, on the fly came up with a silent count here. So it's that situation where it's like, man, everybody knows it's coming. If you look at the left guard here, all right, he stalemates and gets knocked off the ball. But because he's square and he's grappling and holding on for this guy, we're still good on our zone scheme working vertical here, and it leads to a touchdown. If you watch the end zone copy, the best thing about this play is our left tackle. So we run it here. Our left tackle is wild and out of control on this hop, or he comes out of a stance and basically hops, boom. But like I said, our rules are look, lean, climb. So look, pre-snap, he had nobody in his gap. He's got a guy that's head up on him. So he's assuming that this dude's going to try crossing his face. So he slows down just a bit for the, to allow this guy to cross his face, you know, basically leans back and then takes him, number 90. You're watching. See how that block gets in the way of the linebacker who should be playing over top of this. And he really gets two for one on this thing because of that bend. And then you just, you know, you got number seven, who's a playmaker going against seven. That's a lot of space for that safety to guard and short, short yardage on this one. The center, the right guard, right tackle. Center's locked up square and look at the double team on this one. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, the, the run side of this play. So for the right guard, right tackle, when we run this, it's uh, it, it's an inconsequential block most of the time. Like that dude has to play over and, you know, sprint around. But what I tell these guys is when you do get a double team here, and I hate you know, the right tackles for a step because he steps in and like box them out. But what I love is look at this double team. 
You know, number five is a terrific pass rusher. So the more times we can do that and fold this guy and, and really create movement and, and make him pay in the run game, well, when you get to that third and eight, I mean, those guys are tired. And it's also mentally uh, defeating to, you know, this play is these two guys bully you into the safety and then it's a touchdown. And a lot of dudes on the ground. And you can see, look at the energy that number 82 brings for us. Our tight end here. Gets in a fit on 17 on the edge, right? Locked up with him. Runs his feet and finishes the block. Hipped on the defender. Finished the block. Gets up. A lot of juice. This year, a lot of our handoffs uh, on zone came in when we we're down in the uh, scoring zone because it was such an easy play for a running back to get the ball. So here we're doing that same thing I showed you earlier where our, our slot is coming in motion and we're going to trap the defensive end. OK, and if you look, our slot completely whiffs because he's looking. There's three guys. As he's coming around here, you got 31, 52, and 50, and as he's completely confused. And he puts on a really, you know, awful block on 50 because he just he doesn't even know he's going to him. But because he just turns his shoulder, 50 cannot make the dive and cannot get in that play, and our running back is walking into the end zone. What really spurs this play, what really gets this going, look, lean, climb, right guard, Right tackle, uh, you know, in their scheme, they're trying to stunt somebody around and they're playing a lot of parts and they're following a lot of dudes to the um, the quarterback running back side. You look at the right guard, he slows down, leans and collects this dude that's crossing his face. Number 77, our center right here. Watch what he does. He's got a guy in his gap. He's going to work to this dude right here as he goes. 92 crosses his face. All right, 92 crosses his face and he leans back, works vertical, looks to climb, anchors down on these guys, makes sure that they are, um, that they are, uh, that they're not just getting free range going into the end zone or into our backfield. It's such a great block here with those guys shrinking the gaps, using the shield, and then creating movement. You know, at this point, 77 is just boxing him out and trying to get him across the goal line, you know, so that way if we can finish in the end zone, it'll be a good play. Uh, 